What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Adam's Evo over here. You guys might recognize it from a few videos ago, maybe 10 videos ago, I'm not sure, but he taught me how to drive stick uh, recently and I remember being in this car and <laughs> stalling so many times, but um, when I was in here, I told him how he really needed to update his interior and he did just that. So I'm going to go into the city with him and help him also put in some harnesses. So if you guys want to see the interior and want to see that installation, stay tuned. good experience getting back behind the wheel especially on a manual car um, I do like all the gauges that he has in here and it by far it's still a pretty stock Evo inside the car I know that he has this Varus shift knob and all that but it, everything seems pretty standard in here standard Recaro's and the 2014 Evo X's come with that okay so in his interior he ended up getting some status seats which I really like the red stitching with the black this is suede right yeah it is ultra suede it's it's a fancy word for gay and he has this Night Runner Willens collab with these harnesses which look really really nice in here there's the status logo so I think the seats fit really well in the Evo because of the red um, roll cage that he has back there I'm gonna sit in his car oh shit ah! wow I just got really violated by this part if you're a girl be careful with your coochie because this this really has me fucked up right now what was it? dude I just got fucking slammed right here right in the cooch <laughs> okay he also has this um, vertex a steering wheel that he also installed not too long ago it's um a limited edition how many of these did they make uh, i think 75. also really like the steering wheel that he has this is the vertex slash uh night runner collab it's a very limited steering wheel they only made 75 and he has number 31 so he has number 31 and it looks pretty dope he made it even harder for me to drive this car because he changed his shifter to this CAE which is really nice but I can't drive it I tried can't do it um, but yeah I think he did a great job overall changing the whole interior I think that he just needs to do something with his dash maybe do a little bit of carbon fiber on here or on the sides excuse me <laughs> it's never good enough no it's not so far I give his interior 7 out of 10 oh, that was good disrespect is real listen if your status seats didn't hurt my coochie it would have been a different story <laughs> <laughs> Yo. God, we just gotta install these harnesses on the passenger side so that we could take the trip out to Manhattan and we are good to uh, uh so that girl. you don't expect those cuz shut up <laughs> Look at this. Guys, he has a second trunk. What is that? I don't have a spare tire. Weight Maybe reduction, nigga. Put... <laughs> Maybe you should put one in. Look, this is what's going on in his trunk. Look at the disrespect. Also, he did a bunch of custom titanium piping on his Hi. engine bay. And I think this is really cool. Let me start off with this carbon fiber piece. This, he did it himself. I'm so proud of him. I am. I'm a proud mother right Thanks, now because mommy. that looks pretty professional. How did you do this though? It's a trade secret. It's a trade secret, my. <laughs> oh shit! It's green. Do you guys see that? How it's sparkling? That's pretty nice. But um, yeah, this is all the new piping that he put on. Versus, and he also has his custom Instagram name engraved right here on this little plate it's burned into the titanium is it yeah wow it's not, it's not engraved rk titanium upper intercooler pipe i had a custom made to work with the big turbo that i have mm -hmm. uh custom four inch intake also to go with the turbo um Upper the upper radiator hoses are also done in titanium. My inter all my intercooler piping is redone. Uh, carving titanium strut bar, 
uh, titanium uh, power steering reservoir. I still need to put the titanium cooling reservoir and catch can, but I just need to get a couple more parts for that. And then all chasing jig is hardware all over the place. Don't it just excuse the mess? It's a little dirty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> my. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. It's dirty. So Adam is currently running 500 horsepower, right? To the wheels. To the wheels. To the wheels. Yes. So um, for you guys and gals that are very interested in knowing. It's very slow. You almost fucking killed me. I told you guys how I suffer from anxiety and the first thing he does is fucking step on the gas without letting me know. My hands were everywhere. share with you guys because he's not gonna admit it to nobody Adam did a big no-no and he crushed his uh, Yo, front foul foul no foul. he was trying to take off his um so he has center locking wheels and when he took off this like hub thingy he ended up pushing on the tire to try and pop the wheel out but he had tire shine on there and his foot slipped and it cracked well, it hit right here and it cracked all the way up. So he's gonna get that fixed in about a week. But first he needed to do all this stuff and that's why it hasn't gotten fixed. You're lucky car show season hasn't started though because that would have put a lot of pressure on you. So we parked his car right over there and we're gonna do a shoot here and then hopefully go to a second location and get some more pictures before the day's over. Um, gang gang. Okay. <laughs> It is very sunny in this room, but like I did tell you guys, I did want to use it more because I didn't know it had really good lighting. Um, if you guys notice a difference in my voice, it's because the other day was Mother's Day and I was screaming to the top of my lungs because we did a drive-by um, with all my friends and family to go say Happy Mother's Day to my parents, to my aunts, and I just, I just lost my voice. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, say thank you to every single one of you guys and girls because if it wasn't for YouTube right now, I wouldn't be making any type of money and I, I don't know what I'd be doing. Like straight up, I signed up for DoorDash the other day and I got approved. So I think I'm going to go do that for the next couple of weeks because I don't have a job. I haven't had a job in two months and at the end of the day, you have to do what you have to do and I'm not embarrassed about that. Do I have savings? Yes. But would I like to continue eating away at my savings? No. Like you guys know, I have a house. I have animals I have to take care of. You know, I have to care, take care of my parents. At the end of the day, it, it, a lot falls on my plate. So if I can't bring in income, I, you know, I'm kind of messed up and I'm sure that's the reality for a lot of you guys watching as well. So I just want to say thank you so much for supporting this channel and just being here and watching the videos, watching the ads and whoever buys from my merch store and whoever's on my Patreon, you know, I am super grateful for every single one of you guys. Um, Oh, I'm really getting a tan right now with this thing. My neighbor's across from me. She probably thinks I'm staring at her. But anyway. I really haven't been doing much other than working on my website, working on my YouTube content, and just overall making sure I don't go insane. So uh, this is going to be the end of my video. 
I love you guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.